This is Whisperer's Love Lessons on Relationship, Age Differences, Mistresses, Sugar Daddies, Sex, Men and Power Issues. I deeply admire strong women who knows how to fend men, no matter how beautiful they are and how handsome those men are. Brenda is one of them. Brenda is my late wife. Hi, I'm Whisperer Robert Chen. <laughs> Brenda revealed to me on a wedding day that she was hit on by her, her bridesmaid's husband's friend. Uh, that friend actually told Brenda that uh, if things don't work out between her and me, he would really want to go out with her. Brenda actually told him off and told me about the story on that wedding day itself. I felt damn good about this and I felt there's nothing I need to do about this because she was secure, so was I. Let me tell you a story about how Brenda rejected a $1 million marriage offer from an all sheep. Brenda was barely 18 years old and she was in Peninsula Hotel and there was a bodyguard that approached her, shoved hundred dollar notes into a pocket and she said, hey, what's happening here? Please. And he said, no, I want to give you a lot of money. And then, the, then he pointed out to a corner where there was an all chic tycoon who was wearing a very western hot couture uh, high-end suit. The bodyguard told Brenda that the chic, that the all chic was willing to pay 10,000 US to have a meal with her. And not only that, he will give 1 million US dollars for her to be his wife and go with him to Saudi Arabia. Brenda, after hearing 10 minutes of this pitch, shoved all the money back to him, to the bodyguard, and told the bodyguard to tell the all sheik to go f himself. Brenda's sheik story is actually a real-life indecent proposal movie. If you know that movie, go and check it out. The plot is about how this couple was struggling and they lost all their money in Las Vegas and how a billionaire appeared from nowhere and offered the couple $1 million to sleep with the wife. Suppose I were to offer you $1 million for one night with your wife. Now, the couple talk among themselves and find, hey, $1 million, we can do a lot of things with that. And they decided to go ahead. They thought nothing will come out of it. Uh, it should be fine. At least you can use one million. The husband got the one million. The tycoon took the wife into his helicopter to the yacht. And but things did not work out well. I don't trust you. Well, you know what? I don't trust you either. Well, then we're even. Check the story out. In fact, there are a few indecent proposal stories uh, that I know of. One is about a royalty forcing an actor to let him sleep with the wife, but the marriage never became the same again. The second story is about a minister forcing the actor to divorce the wife so that he can marry this wife. Uh, unfortunately, three months later, the actor died from unexpected cancer. Call it karma. Brenda introduced uh, one of her best friends called Mary and in, this, in the 80s, uh, it was the days of nightclubs and Club Volvo in Wan Chai, in Chim Sa Choi. Mary actually met, uh, Mary met Hideo, who is the country manager of Japan Airlines, and they fell in love. And uh, Hideo gave Mary many things, whatever she wanted in life. She got handbags, she got trips overseas, even gave her a condo to her name. And they have a daughter together. Hideo was very generous. He would treat all of us in Shangri-La with the best buffet and uh, he was a nice guy. A question to the women watching this video is, can you fan out all types of seductive men, all types that are willing to offer you material gains, the celebrity status, property, everything, while you're still in a relationship, will you do it? There are actually sugar daddy websites that entice young, beautiful women to have a sugar daddy for whatever reason, whether it's for education, for better lifestyle, would you go for that? Let's talk about sex, money and power issues. Now, first of all, all men need to able to pussy guard 
their lady partners against horny men. And there are many horny men out there. Now, they should be able to clarify with the women what is okay and what is not okay. For instance, kissing is very accepted in a Western society, like French will kiss each other as a welcome gesture. Is it okay to kiss the opposite sex? Another thing is hugging. Hugging is great to comfort another friend, but will you allow hugging with your partner? <coughs> now, too many insecure men try to control their women. To me, some jealousy, a bit of jealousy is great for the heart, but I'm not okay for insecure men to control, to police, and to check on their, on their women. To me, if you're going to check on their phone, because if you don't feel secure, I'd rather you cancel the relationship because you don't trust enough. Let me tell you a case about a celebrity friend of mine who stopped his actress wife from acting. He actually asked me for advice and I said, uh, I don't think you should stop her from acting because she's a, a rising star actress, very young. And uh, I, felt, I felt it's like a king taking the princess, isolating her into a, a castle tower Whereas she can shine, she can sing, uh, she can act to the world. So I felt it's really bad karma to keep her for yourself when her gift is to the world. But she didn't listen to me. It's kind of ironic that uh, his own father uh, married a celebrity singer and allowed the wife to continue singing and also create a cosmetic brand. Age does not matter according to Mark Twain. This is some advice to older men. Older men that are divorced or a widower like me, so these are some advice that I like to give. Uh, one is, what is the game of love for older men? The game of love for older men is to be the alpha male. An alpha male means you, you pull your woman closer to you and you dominate the woman. Now, all women like this, even though it's an alpha female herself, all women like, like the men to protect them, to care for them and to dominate them. They love that. Be the decision maker, decide the meals, decide the trips, and don't be a wimp. Always remember, as an older man, you have lots of experience. You have wisdom, you have class. You should not be insecure with greenhorn, uh, younger, handsome men, even though they may be more handsome than you. You don't have to do all this crazy thing that young men do, like going to the gym and you don't need even to impress uh, women with a Ferrari or showering them with gifts. Just be yourself. A bit more advice to older men, the dating game has changed. No longer are the days where you have a long conversation on the phone. Now, of course, you can use Skype for conversations, but uh, younger women prefer texting. So uh, I advise you that uh, play with that. Uh, it's quite nice to, in the midnight, text her a nice little thing that you're thinking of her, or in the morning, say good morning. A lot of women love uh, just a simple good morning to them. So uh, just use one-liners. Don't use long paragraphs, just short-liners. Whatever you do, don't be a creep. Don't creep them out. Don't freak them out. Don't stalk them. Now, if it doesn't work out, move on. There are other fishes in the ocean. Let me tell you about my own experience as an older man dating younger women. I recently dated two 25-year-olds. I didn't plan it. It just happened by chance. One is a, what I call a weak niece, Houston. The, her knees are very weak. She was a beautiful 25-year-old. She was a great kisser. And then I was about to make love to her, and then, uh, and then I talked about uh, having safe sex. She stared at me and said, what is that? I was actually shocked that she told me she's a virgin. So I said, let's stop. Uh, I want you to think about this uh, seriously, because you may want to save your virginity for your, for your husband. Uh, she waited. She thought about it for two weeks, but she wanted to go ahead. She even watched porn. Apparently, porn is the new sex education for youths today. The biggest problem with her is she did not know how to fend off men. After nine months, he fell in love with a tycoon son who threw a dare in a, in a colleague's outing, kissed her. Since this relationship, I decided that when I find out that a woman do not know how to fend off men, I would break off the relationship. Because no amount of pussy guarding, policing, or controlling can stop this type of weakness Houston women from falling in love with other horny men.
The second one is a beautiful 25 year old. I was a second lover and she felt very safe with me whenever she visited me. She would just sleep like a baby. She trusted me. Uh, she was a top consultant with a high-end product, but she would get customers that will ask for a happy ending when they buy the product. She has fended off all these men, so I respect her for that. And I even coach her how to handle all different types of customers. Uh, she actually saw how in love I was with Brenda, and she wanted what Brenda has. She wanted what Brenda had with me and a good thing was 10 months later she found her hometown classmate and they, then they, got, and they got married. I have one last love story to talk about is Karen Ho. Uh, she was only 16 when we first met. She, came, she and her mother came to the meditation center which I was the head and uh, she was very young. She was only 16. I, she was 11 years difference uh, but I was a celibate. I made a vow of celibacy. So I was in a deep conflict uh, whether I should go out with her. So I waited when she was 17, 18, and then I did try to date her. She was the only girl that I took home to see my parents in Nepal. I lost touch with her and I wonder where she is. Uh, two years ago, I met a 19-year-old which uh, felt have the same vibrations as uh, Karen. So I wonder whether she is alive or dead or whether she's died uh, maybe 18, 20 years ago, and now it's a new incarnation. I'm just very curious about that. Now, all the psychics have actually told me that this woman, Karen, would, could have been my wife. So I'm just curious whether she's still out. She's born again or she's incarnated. Some of my friends have asked me, will I remarry again at my late age? I say, yes, I think I will find my, my, my life partner. And I feel there are a few characteristics for this future partner of mine. I feel she would uh, believe in what I do, the Twin Souls uh, mission. And also she must be secure enough uh, with me talking about Brenda all the time. Because I have an Afterlife channel, I've written two e-books uh, with my whisperings with Brenda. I also feel she could be in the performance arts industry, she could be an artist, a singer. She's probably likely to be a foreigner rather than an Asian. But whatever it is, I, I know she is a twin flame from many lifetimes and I will find this person. So these are some of the tips for today about relationships. I do cover other things uh, in my personal growth and personal effectiveness. Because in this channel, I actually will talk about the eight life areas, which is self, relationships, family, health, wealth, career, spirituality. That's not religion. That's the spirituality is what's the meaning of life. And lastly, career. So this is Whisper Robert Chen. Thank you.